This result is not what I was expecting. It is super clean as super as its name suggests. Well in this video we're going to be putting this bottle of super clean up against this bottle of Miss Meyers cleaner and a bottle of water. What's going on everybody? Chuck here and I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. Right behind me is an absolutely disgustingly filthy steel cabinet that I use to hold my fertilizers and herbicides. A couple years ago I had some liquid fertilizer spill all over the cabinet and I haven't cleaned it once. Yes, I'm extremely lazy and I'm going to own up to it. But I feel like now is the perfect time to put super clean up to the test. Now I will say a couple years ago super clean did send me an entire super clean pack of products that I never did anything with. So I'm sorry to super clean. However, I'm not going to let that affect this review because this is an honest review because even though I have used super clean in the past and I do think it does a fantastic job, I've never really seen does it do any better than any other cleaner out on the market. So that is why I'm going to go ahead and put these products to the test. This bottle right here is the culprit of the mess a couple of years ago. Here on the channel I made some liquid humic acid and right here somehow it broke or split open so it was completely full and it started to fill up till about there and it spilled all over the cabinet. Down there is really gross, look at that. And down there, look at all that on the door. Now I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of the cabinet so all that's left are the filthy shelves and then each shelf is going to be used by a different cleaner, super clean, Miss Myers cleaner and water inside this spray bottle. So I will be back in just a second. All cleaned out, this shelf is going to be Miss Myers cleaner, this shelf is going to be just water, this shelf here is going to be the super clean and then that bottom most shelf is going to be all three in just different areas so you can see them side by side by side. Alright so as I said this shelf is going to be the Mrs. Myers clean day. Um, to make this as fair as possible I'm just going to use three spritzes or three sprays whatever the term is uh, for each of these shelves. I'll go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's just see what happens. So Super Clean definitely has the tougher job of the three with this shelf, but either way, it's super, so it should be able to handle it. But the true test will be the side by side by side test, but let's just see how it does here by itself. So So after the three tests, this was the Miss Myers cleaner. This is just the water, warm water. Remember this area was not as dirty as the shelf above or the shelf below. It's a super clean where you can tell where it was just so caked on right there. Very caked on, but in between there you can see where it cleaned a lot of it up. Now finally let's do this side by side by side test. If you've made it to this point in the video, thank you so much. Please give it a thumbs up as it will help spread this particular video to a larger audience. Finally, if you're familiar with what I do on this channel and in my videos, I usually pray at the end of my videos for you all, for the nation and all that kind of stuff. I'm actually moving those to YouTube shorts and doing them daily starting with the release of this video. So please subscribe to the channel and follow if you want a daily prayer. Also, I do offer up prayer requests. So if you have a prayer request, no matter how big or how small, there's an email listed in the description box below that you can send those to. Those are confidential between me, you and the Lord. Nobody else sees them, not my wife or anybody, so you can feel confident that, that uh, whatever your prayer request is, that it's just with minimal eyes on it. And you can keep those as confidential as you want. You don't have to give me your name or anything like that, but I want to be here for you all and uh, pray, pray for anything that you need. So please feel free to send me an email listed down below. Now, back to the video. So this section will obviously be super clean. This section will be Myers cleaner. And then this whole area over here, because it's also less again, will be the warm water. So 
Uh, let's go ahead and spray. I'm gonna give this area a minute and a half to go ahead and try to break stuff down. This result is not what I was expecting. So it was super clean, what I noticed. Now it's kind of hard in this test. Maybe I could have put a barrier or something, make sure no spray uh, cross-contaminated my test. But it was super clean. It didn't leave as much. It's really hard to tell on camera, but a lot of this streaking here, where it was also probably to do with the cloths, you know? Um, so you still clean up a little bit there. But it left less streaking than the other two. However, all three of them got a lot of the gunk off. Like even this shared area here, they both got about the same amount of gunk off uh, as each other. So between the different cleaners, as far as like heavy duty cleaning, they both did a really good job. Or maybe that's speaking to liquid humic acid and aerate that it's just easy stuff to clean up even after a couple years of just sitting there. Now let's go ahead and answer the question I asked at the beginning of the video. Is super clean as super as its name suggests? As far as this particular test goes, no. I don't think super clean really did any better than the Mrs. Myers cleaner and it did marginally better than just using warm water. Now as far as what I'm calling finishing the clean, meaning it left minimal residue behind, the two actual cleaners did way better than water as water did leave some streaking and some residue, but even the water got up this particular mess. Now I will say something I wasn't anticipating is because of what super clean is really meant to do and what it is, is that using it in an enclosed area like this metal cabinet for example, it's very, leaves a very strong presence behind. So there were times where I would spray this material out or spray the cleaner out, then come in with my paper towel and there was still like just that strong odor that it left. It made it kind of hard to breathe. Or using the Mrs. Myers, and I've also used the non-scented Mrs. Myers, doesn't do that because this is more meant for your general everyday cleaning where this is meant for heavy duty stuff. So it really has that strong chemical odor that it leaves behind. So I wasn't anticipating that. And this one, this particular test kind of was a knock against it, I guess. Now I will say this test probably wasn't the most fair as I thought that mess was way worse than it actually was. Uh, the material that spilled all over the cabinet was cleaned up obviously easy by all three of these. So maybe if I were to try to clean something greasy like an engine or something, I don't know, Maybe the super clean would have really stood out, but with this particular mess, maybe a more general mess, super clean is no better than your everyday household cleaner or warm water. If you happen to like comparison videos, I actually did a comparison video that you can watch right here using three different lawn leveling tools that you should maybe check out. Hope you'll have a fantastic day and God bless.